Hi and welcome to Curry Girl's Kitchen. I'm Megan Curry and this is my mom Peggy Curry and today we're going to show you how to make perfect gluten-free pasta. So many times I'll have friends or family go, how do you get your pasta so perfect that it tastes like normal pasta? Well, this is perfect. And this is normal pasta. It just <laughs> happens to be made with brown rice. So the key to this is the timing, how long you cook it. So we're gonna show you that we're gonna use, there's so many different varieties of gluten-free pasta. Our favorite mm -hmm. though happens to be Tinkaneda. Love this pasta. Cooks up in seven minutes. It fools everybody. They don't even know it's gluten-free. Absolutely. So, so let's delicious. get started. All right, we've got a pot of boiling water here. And we're gonna open this package up, Meg. Now this package will serve anywhere from six to eight, depending on how many people that you want to serve. But we're just going to put this in boiling water. I'm going to stir it up like so. We're going to just let it come back to a boil. Key right there. You're going to let the pasta come back to the boil and then we time it for the seven minutes. And you do not cover your pot at this point. You just let it come back to a boil Every few minutes I might take my fork here and just stir it to make sure that it's not clumping or sticking together. Mm -hmm. So, and the same thing, Meg, you know, when you're making the longer pasta, I like to actually break it in half. Sometimes they'll stick together, but I found that the trick is to really use your fork and just kind of yeah, move it around, let the water get into all the parts yeah, of the pasta. When I make this pasta, I'll get one of those like a big a wooden a wooden fork and kind uh -huh. of like stir it all in together and kind of keep picking up the pieces so that they don't clump together. Yeah, because sometimes there's nothing worse than making spaghetti pasta and it all being one big clump. But I leave it long because I like doing the whole like slurping like Lady in the Tramp style. Yeah, great mm -hmm. for meatballs and spaghetti. Okay, oh, so we're boiling okay. here <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and time it now for seven minutes. So you're timing it. Once it comes back to the boil, you're going to time it for seven minutes. That's right. the trick. So we're done. We're going to pull out our pasta. <gasps> it looks so good. And then we're going to take our fork. Don't burn yourself. Here, Meg, I'm putting it in your hand. Try it? Yeah, you try it. And see how hot. it tastes. It's a little hot. Ah, hot. Perfect. Perfect al dente. Mm -hmm. Not too mushy. No, it's good. And so what you want to do is if you want it a little bit more, don't continue to boil it. Just let it sit in the water from anywhere to one to two more minutes and you're good to go. Ready to use pasta, brown rice, and that's it for today. Will we rinse it? You can. You don't have to you rinse it. You don't have it. to. Sometimes you know that gets like that film, like the gluten-free pasta gets kind of like any Any milky. pasta gets The water it. looks milky. Mm -hmm. So, so you it's can. good. All right. Yeah. So that's it for today. <laughs> More recipes, go to currygirlskitchen.com.